AI, it's everywhere. It writes essays, makes art, talks to you. Low human. Bro, shut up. And apparently makes games. So I thought, what if AI made a Roblox game? Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is like that one friend who acts smart, but when you actually need help, they give you the weirdest answers possible. Hey bro, I need your help. What do you want? So so what is two plus two? Five. Uh, are, are you sure? Yes, it's literally five. Oh, okay. It's five. Okay, bro, I get it. You, you get the point. So I decided to test how smart AI really is by letting it build a full Roblox game from concept to code to chaos. Because clearly nothing could go wrong here. Here's a plan. I'm gonna ask AI to make an entire game. It'll come up with the idea, with the scripts, and I'll just copy paste and pray it doesn't crash my PC. If it actually works, we'll end up with a playable Roblox game made by a complete robot. And if it doesn't, well, at least I'll have some free content. Alright, so the AI can make a game, but I still need an idea for what the game even is. So I did the logical thing. I asked AI to come up with one. Make a Skibidi toilet simulator. I am genuinely crashing out. It gave me, uh, let's say trash. So I did what any true game dev would do. I went on Roblox for inspiration and then I found it. A game so beautifully stupid that I had to make my own version. So we're making a troll obby. But before I let AI completely destroy my Roblox studio, I gotta thank today's sponsor, Play Templates. These guys basically made something every dev has dreamed of. Pre-built game templates you can buy, edit, and make your own. Like, imagine plants versus brain rods. Yeah, that's actually a real thing. You just grab a template, tweak a few things, and boom, you've got a full game running way faster than starting from scratch. Honestly, if AI fails to make me a game, I'm just buying one of these instead. And hey, if you want to try it too, you can get 10% off by using my code PLAZA10 at checkout. Links down in the description. Thanks again to Play Templates for supporting the channel, and now let's get back to watching AI ruin my life. Alright, so time to actually make the game. And I start off strong by building a chest. Not just any chest though, this one gives you free money if you join my Roblox group. Then, I started working on the spawn area, and okay, I didn't really have a plan. I added a fountain, deleted it, added an obby chart, deleted that too. At this point, I was just placing parts like a toddler with creative mode. So, I asked AI for help. Hey, AI, what should the spawn look like? You should build a majestic statue that symbolizes creativity. Yeah, no, I'm making a troll obby, not to Louvre. Then, how about a peaceful zen garden? Bro, I'm trying to make players rage, not meditate. Understood. What about adding invisible platforms? You know what? That's actually not bad. So we kept the invisible platforms. Then I built one of those tool displays, you know, where a tool floats there. And when you stand on the pad, a game pass prompt pops up. I made like a ton of those, but then came the hard part, stages. What were the stages gonna be? So I did what the video is about. <laughs> I asked AI again. Give me some obby stage ideas. Stage one, find your inner peace. It's an obby, not a therapy session. Stage two, balance your emotions. No one's balancing emotions in my troll game. Stage three, run toward happiness. I'm running away from you actually. So yeah, I made my own. The first one was pure evil. Two platforms, pick one to stand on, except both are fake and the real one's invisible in the middle. Beautiful chaos. I added a floating board for tips each stage too. It says helpful things like hints, don't die. You're welcome players. Then I made AI code the stage system for me and somehow it worked, kinda. Every time you spawn, you fall over, but honestly, I'm calling that a feature. Then I started designing more stages. One flings you into the sky, one kills you instantly, and one just straight up gaslights you. It's great. While doing that, I asked AI to make one of the troll scripts. Hey, AI, make a script that flings the player when they step on the part. Sure. Would you like it to fling them to space or to their emotional limits? Space. Definitely space. And don't ask what the velocity numbers mean. That's not concerning at all. Then, I hopped into Figma to make some UI designs. Cache counter, stage tracker, all that. 
and I also use abbreviations because 12.5k looks way cooler than 12,500. But then I decided to make a checkpoint arrow system. If you didn't claim a checkpoint, a little arrow would point above it. Spent an hour, didn't work, so I scrapped it. Then I made a few UIs inside Roblox Studio because honestly, I got lazy. Had AI make those two. AI, make this UI open smoothly when the player joins. Done! But it may break the player's camera. Acceptable risk. Also added random sparkles. Why? Never mind. So now I had a working settings, trolls button, invite button, everything. AI was basically my unpaid intern at this point. After that, I spent like two hours working on the stage arrows. Click left, go forward, click right, go back a stage. But if you haven't unlocked that stage, it opens a skip stage prompt. And for once, everything worked, like perfectly, which honestly scared me more than when it doesn't. Then I asked AI one last time for a little polish. Hey, can you make the stage text fade in and out when you switch? Of course. Also added a feature where it sometimes doesn't fade at all. So it just breaks. Creativity. Bro, that's not fine, whatever. Then I made a quick thumbnail and game icon. Then I grabbed some people from my Discord server to play test it and uh, things got interesting. Okay, so um, I'm joining you off right now. Ooh, oh my gosh, Storm is here. Yo. Are you good? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, yeah, make sure you do not stand on that. That That's the thing you should not do. I forgot to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, also, it's kind of, you kind of fall down, but that's, that's... Oh, okay, so you know what you, do you know what you have to do here? What would the R do? Oh, Look at the clues, look at the clues, look at the clues right there. Bro! Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, um, it, at the start. Do you know the tip? I, I love Spider Man. D did you know Spider Man can climb walls, you know? You know? So, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here you kind of just jump off. You kind of just jump off. Why is it all the way up there? You have to jump, 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 jump. No, no, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> so, yeah, don't went about as well as I expected. Massive shout out to my friend Storm for helping me test and just surviving through the madness. Make sure to check him out, links in the description. And hey, if you want to play the game yourself, the link's literally the first one in the description. Plus, if you want to join future playtests or even end up in a video, join my Discord server, links down there too. <sighs> That's a lot of links. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.